Oh, you man, you can't read the sign. You must stop now. Must stop now. Washed up. Don't want to believe it. Don't want to believe it. Tough love, you take it or leave. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so I'm here That's with. Very high. Yeah, we're high in the sky yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, guys. So it's a weekday. It's a Wednesday, and we're. Hey, no, I'm gonna like this high thing again. So if you know where I'm at, if you follow the vlog, you'd see us here once before with the kids back at Mystic Mountain. So I get down bunks on here, come on yeah, the phone. And, and with the next Russian couple. Yeah. And guys, unfortunately my friends, them gone and rush on my sad, uh, my sad, my really sad. Yeah. Them said they're going to look alive in Russia. Yeah. Well, that's how it goes, you know. Don't know how things set up, how things set up. Be yeah, so, so but get... me really sad, I'm really sad. because. Yeah. I love their company was nice. Yeah, so and just the next feeling that another Russian on the island gives you comfort, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so, so. Yeah guys, so today we is what I'm turning on the vlog. Because so you say today is a day when I go do much vlogging. Just go try to enjoy. The thing about me that talk to them, my friend, and then reach out to me a while ago and I ask advice on a situation when it comes to parenting. I'm also do a post on Instagram so you can check it out. It has been creating quite a buzz. A lot of people say topics like that should have been cleaner. Thanks to people who feel so heartfelt about the topic. Because I think it's a subject that all of us go through at some point or another. And it has to do with parenting. Whether it is taking care of your parents financially. Some people have that burden to take care of their parents. I don't want to use the term burden, but it can be. So my bridging, him live overseas, his parents are here and them not stable financially and it cause a big risk in my marriage because his wife are complaining to us, so get the umbrella because it's raining, no, I'm going to wet. It cause a risk in my marriage, so he asked me what me would I do, or how me angle it. Yeah, can I come over? Yeah, I'm going to go to the report. Well, you better be careful. <laughs> Yeah, that's like you have a head, so you good, so I have a good answer. Watch out. So, so you need me? So you have a head. So you have a head too? I'm going to go straight. I'm always, remember me talking about the free inside for all the here? I see it here. So, yeah, guys, you have a problem because you have to take care of mommy and all them siblings. them. And most of the time when people think people overseas and think everything are better rose and butter but most of the time it's not people are fair work really hard fair pay them bills double shift the whole nine yards and at the same time we love the parents but as I say taking care of everybody can sometimes be very demanding and if you're not careful you might end up go block yourself for trying to take care of everybody and so I meet a share with him say while it might be a tough Decision to say no, sometimes you have to just be truthful. And let me say, I am all for supporting parents when they are go through. If they are go through a financial situation, yes, because I've been there. But when it's going to become a case where your parents feel like, say, them raising you was a. Was a it's like you were their financial plan. You were their retirement plan, plan all along. That's the only reason why they have you. As you say, <laughs> when you get older, you have to come take care of me. I am not for that. I am not for that. And then even worse, that the mafia take care of all, all them siblings too. And stuff like them, they tell us to hold back people from building wealth. Because while you should have saved for your future, you have to help everybody. And let me say, all of you have heart, all of you have conscience, and you're not going to see your parents are struggle and don't help. But it's not good for the parents them use that as a, as a way to call it. I don't even know. But a lot of parents use that over them kids. As an argument? Yeah, can I call it argument because we have the argument there before. Obligation. Obligation. Whatever. P parents parents tend to use that over them kids like is a must. And you have to understand say no, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't feel like that. And we just not like I'm just not like those kind of situations. So me just tell him say, bro, 
yes, or your mom, yes, or your brother, or your sister. But at the end of the day, you have to think about your family, your immediate family. You can't make because of that it causes your, your marriage, mash up you, your wife, your kids. So, is that is well, it, it, it's good to help when you have a sources mm -hmm. to help, but when you're like struggling yourself, trying to you know meet the ends and try to feed your own family mm -hmm. and yeah it's it really cause problems, problems and really put you in an uncomfortable spot even though you want to help but mm -hmm. sometimes you just try to squeeze the last from your own family members when they will not be happy with it mm -hmm. because you're not in that state of, of uh, comfort where you can help everybody where yeah where yeah. you can just you know put your hand in the pocket and take out the money whenever you feel like mm -hmm. that's how i see it if you can okay of course it's mm -hmm. good to help but if you if your family members struggling because of your help it has to you know it, like you have to reduce the, that you know level of you know help yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and me totally get it so let me say it's a big yeah. thing in a russia it's a part of your culture where your parents tend to rely upon kids? Well, in Russia, we have uh, like parents, some some parents do that, some parents, some parents, uh, they, they, they try to save money to give their kids, try to help them. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we have two type of parents in Russia who want kids to support them for life, mm -hmm. but it mostly come from lower class. Mm -hmm and more wealthy wealth, wealthy class of people mm -hmm. they they um they like to give the more than take yeah yeah, like yeah they, they will they will send you know in russia most people most parents will try to save money to send their child to the university mm -hmm. to pay for, cover everything mm -hmm. so they don't have to take student loan mm -hmm. yes but you know Th that's why it, it surprised me when I heard a lot of talking about how hard to pay back the student loan because in Russia it's not a big issue because most parents they save their money to send their kids to university mm -hmm. so they can when they work like they're comfortable so they don't have nothing to hold them back you know mm -hmm. like student loan and credits you know unnecessary yeah. stuff yeah yeah so I was so surprised because even my mother she's a single mom I raised in a single uh, parent family she tried honestly guys she would bust her ass just to send me to the university mm -hmm. so i don't have to take no student loan or credit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah she would she would try her best best she would hustle bustle but she would make sure i don't have the student loan so she can cover it for me mm -hmm. yeah so i can just comfortable start my own life yeah but that's how in russia goes but some parents yes but mostly parents who does not really have stable job and stuff you know mm -hmm. or have some problems with the addictions they do that what it's like mostly poor class of families do that so like i said guys it's a, it's a touchy topic and, and hence let me say if, if your parent do go out and spend the money paying for your university and and etc etc i don't expect your parent for whole that against you to say you have to come back come take care of me <laughs> yeah that may I try avoid with percentage, with percentage. <laughs> yeah. i'll charge you <laughs> so money. take care yeah as i say make it come from a place of love for me but yeah. you know what i notice when you don't really pressure a person the person is willing to give you more, more. than when you pressure a person mm -hmm. to give you like in that state of you know like situation the person will will you know not be happy with giving you stuff you know yeah, because you when, demand it uh, right when you demand things it's always hard you know to mm -hmm. get it but when you just you know the, when you just support it if and you don't really ask to give give you know you will get a lot of feedback back you know well, you know what i'm saying you will get a lot of things back i know what you say yeah so like i just, just i just saw me look at it so yeah. as i'm saying with our kids we want to come from a place of love if one day them get wealthy and then decide to them are give back something to the parents and because we are demand it and also that's why i'm preaching so much about financial education and so much about building wealth because when you build up yourself as a parent you can put your kids in a better position for move forward end of the day i hope i can leave my kids not even leave and me not talk after i'm gone i hope so when they reach a certain age like so you say i can help pay for them school fee who knows i can start them off with them first car i can start them off with them first home 
Oh, I always see it in American movies like 18 years old, they give their kids car, car and you the, know, and then yeah. and, they, and then they drive it like you know, <laughs> meet accident, accident. <laughs> but well, that's good, that's good to help your kid to start a yeah. foundation. That always good. You can help your kids with your first house, house deposit. One of the hardest things to save up. Mm -hmm. Let me say it's just it just depends upon your perspective. And as we say, all of that we are talking about is nothing for say Lee and Daniel for come back and give mm -hmm. in the future. No. <laughs> yeah, it's just right. from a place of who understand how it feels for start from scratch. Because let me say sometimes life comes like a race. When you reach eighteen yeah. and yeah and, and, and your peers reach eighteen, a lot of us don't start the same from the same starting line. It's true. Yeah. Just like oh yeah, do a race if somebody gets a jump in front of you. I just some look on life. Yeah, and it's always, you know, like when you don't have this little foundation from your parents, it's very hard for you. You will get, you know, the rough treatment of life because you will have to look at extra money, right? Mm -hmm. You will have you will have to work, study and work. Mm -hmm. And that will not make you concentrate on your studies, studies enough, yeah. that well. So that might affect you in of course in, in future mm -hmm. again. So like you will have to, you know, Boss, yes, you know, <laughs> for your own foundation, you know, work and you know, and which a lot of us study, are. work and study sometimes double shifts, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's not easy, mm -hmm. yes, because I have a friend, she she uh, lives in New York, Russian girl, so she has to study and she has to work sometimes double shifts. So she says, Swaggy, I want to be you, I, I'm so sick and tired said i have dark circles under my eyes i don't get enough sleep i'm so tired so you know you know what i'm saying but it's not easy i guess you're just lucky if you have that foundation to help you from somebody but if you don't have i mean the life will hit you off <laughs> <laughs> oh man. and that's yeah. the reality of life guys it's not fear it's not equal i just feel foundation really it's not fear at all you know fear at all so as i say me and and, and at the same time we can use the excuse because a lot of people who get the jump start sometimes they don't take advantage right sometimes they yeah. take it for granted but that's not my because some people say that oh i'm not left things for my kids because they're squandered well make mind them squandered at least them can say me give them a head start and yeah. if i didn't mess it up i say go yeah, i'm still I not gonna show them neither yeah i just at the end of the day sometimes oh, you coach your kids you see me so if you can pass on some information to them and show them things along the way, then and like we said, them still can't come squander it. Right. But you don't know. That's don't just know. life. That's just life. If it will happen, it happens. And so it 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 goes. You know, it go. over here. Yeah, but me rather that. But me rather try, right? Yeah. yeah what is a pretty youth? Yeah, but it's look. To yeah. make a nature. So much untouched nature. Look over this one. So much land. So much land. Pure land. Pure. What you what you drink them this stuff land? <laughs> Yeah, but 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 like I'm not saying if, if like for parents it often be the most you know this starting foundation. But if they can, it's good. Yeah, if, if they, they can, can, it's good. Yeah. But if you cannot, we well, understand. Yeah, you know it's just like. But don't take you your don't kids fee, no financial plan. Not take your kids for no retirement plan. Have that them. will never work out. Yeah, not that work will out. Never work out. And it's very rough as as I'm saying. No, whole papers will go through it. It will never work out because. You see, maybe my mother would expect me to come and assist her now, but I'm gone, leave at next end of the world. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just how it goes. Like, you, you can't go in your kid brain and, like, you know, calculate oh. things. And, you know, no, just everybody have their own life. Try to figure out stuff on their own. That's how it goes. But sometimes I do really feel sorry because my mom, she was a single mom. So I feel like... I shouldn't leave her like that on her own in Russia. Should like give back, give back. But then again, like you, you, you can't really hold, hold like operate with that argument. Hold back, you know. Your life. Yeah, right. Because you have your own life to live. And so yeah. your life is in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I, I always go to Russia regular. You always cost me. Arrow always cost me. So. Yeah, because you're the to argue what you're doing in Russia. You don't have to go that regular. <laughs> but you know how it goes. When you have mommy there only and you know, yeah, grandparents, you have to check on them. Because she's getting older. She's not getting younger. True. Yeah. You have to understand. Some and sometimes crazy too. ideas comes in her head. Like, no, she will do a plastic surgery, boobs. I don't know where, where it came from. Yeah. Hey, guys. So you might have to do her. No, I'm not talking about business. Are you for talking to your mother? Yeah, man. So, I'm not. Well, let she do whatever she feels so comfortable you are, you, you always with. You always cry for this. Yeah, yeah. You always 
So you want to do your best. Can't judge each other, big woman. Yeah, you know, your mother got to do her best. Two big women, them business. Two big women, them. They flow. Can't judge each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but trust me, last time when I came, two years I left uh, my mom in Russia, I came back and I saw her like, she is in like anorexia state of, uh, what, state of condition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, she looked that, really that... weak uh, and she looked very skinny and it broke my heart, it broke my heart, I'm telling you. But because she has diabetes, so that happened not like because she wasn't eating, mm -hmm. but that just, you know, I'm so afraid to, every time I go back to Russia, I am afraid. To go back and see something what I I would not like mm -hmm. to see, yeah. Okay. That's just how it goes. All right, we arrived there. We arrived, guys. He's squeezing me. <laughs> no, it's okay, but you kind of squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> I really squeeze it, me guys. What are you doing here, sir? Try to squeeze me more. <laughs> See, guys, they're all behind. They're all say hi. Good. Alright. Yeah, people behind. Let's see. Give people behind. No kids. Yeah. <laughs> Why need to come yeah. here? Yeah. yeah. You remember what to do? Yeah, I'm just unstrapped now. Oh, I'm just thinking. Make sure some stuff in. No, you're up here. You're up here. Yes, of course. No. Oh, you're all me. It was more of your love. I'm going to prepare the oven. Go in, you know? Alright. Okay, I'm ready. Here. Oh. Hey, Virginia. Say you, my boss. Hello. Say you are good. My good, my good. Everything plays up. Yeah man. Follow you. Follow you. Oh yeah, yeah man. No in Jamaica. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> take care. Push it forward. That's right. Arrow, push it forward, no man. Alright, so forward to go back and straight then. Alright. Once you get close to the person in front of you, pull it back. Pull back. And you know, the person behind them bumpers, so I can just keep it going all the way. Alright. Alright. Okay, fisherman points to the fisherman point to the left. Yeah. Remember last time we go with Daniel? Yeah, remember don't be shy to to press you know. What not to 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 just hard as possible. Okay. Well I feel safe with you. <laughs> yeah. What are we? Don't feel safe with me that. Alright, be safe. What is That's what you're supposed to be for. Here, guys. Wait, don't, 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 don't. Ah, ah. Wait. Wait, stop, stop. Where are those guys? Mommy! 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 Slow. Are you speed so? The signs are slow? 
Never let someone go there. You have to kill me now. No, dad. Let's eat the body. Oh God, me in shock. Me in shock. So the sign is slow? Me not go with you for nothing at all. Dad. I want to slow me see you now. You go on, sir. So again, yeah, one slow, Mister Still. Slow, man. One slow, Mister. Yo, Dad, fast. You want again? No, me no want to go with you. Cause you're too bright. Me no want to go with you. Cause you're not slow. Where you supposed to be slow? When the man's for have his speed, so. So you not enjoy it? No, me not enjoy it. Me not enjoy it. Oh, the boy, Dad. So again, you wanna go with go for the air and dig back? Oh, God. Shot, no. Push now, man. Oh, Martin, if it's slow, you're not slow, dog. I told me in the vibes, dog. I never was. <laughs> I know now, but I'm the one with the walk. Next time you have to go alone, yeah? Because you, you, if you carry yourself somewhere up in heaven, you, you go alone. I'm not going with you. I'm not in that town. I don't like to go fire for the real. No, you don't know, know, but Errol, you can't just press so. I want, I, me afraid, me I tell you to stop. You don't want to stop. Oh, what is? You, you come let me see one note while I go. Let me know you're not where I say. We just, that's how you're this bad. Alright. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Nothing. See, people there do it. Some of them zip line. You all got zip line? Yeah. Never did it, you know? Yo, zip line is supposed to be bad, dog. Because it's full of some chips. Guineas! Tell the man to slow down, man still oppressed. No, I honestly never see no stop sign till the last one. Boom, boom, no, it's like we go through it while I go full gas, no brakes. You know, see that? No brakes, we draw that. We just break on the gas. I don't know if you're excited about it. What do you mean? It's sad. It's sad, don't be sad, you. You're alive. I'm not like that bad dog. The vibes just did it while I go so give me the first more gas. Oh if you wanna fly out of the real, what you gonna do? You have a seat belt dog, no? Seat belt. The seat belt not go help if you gonna fly. Don't be truthful of my bad, because I never seen a stop sign still, but I guess I should be in it so much. I'm hit near blowing. Okay, you know why? Because the first time I come here, I said I roll with Daniel. So maybe true Daniel so light, it never go so fast. Because while I go, we feel free, but do we all pass me like feel like say, yo, the vibes, you see it? I'm just a press gear, see me. I'm mm. not lying. It's nice, are you there? Nice, are you I'll go again with you. Two, yeah, 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 with Daniel for two, Daniel loves. Daniel like gets scared, I'm going to slow down. So you do while I go now, if you're scared, I'm just a press gear. See if you have a break like Chateau now. See? You have a press P.A. break. But a gear so you have a press you. So I can press gas. Vroom, 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 vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. We have two pictures. No, you first you press to see. Watch out. Look at your picture. Yeah, take a picture. No, no, no I'm gonna take no picture. No, take man. Wake up, wake up. Uh, 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 this one. Yeah, we like the one. one. We like the one shot. We love it. You see the one? You see? Yeah, look at it. This one look like oh yeah, you stress me out too yeah, much. But well, this one nice. I love uh, this one. Yeah. We want this one. We want the two love of them. We, we want two of them. We want the two of them. Digital is for twelve. Good is soggy. Time to go. Spider way. And then spider. Going to my dad's boots, you can't go anywhere. It's two different levels. You can start at anyone. Cool? Washed up. Don't want to believe. Don't want to believe it Tough love You take it or leave it Washed up Don't want you believe it Yeah guys, so we just finished Yeah, going home And I'm so happy for Swaggy because she gets some she fresh air, fresh air, she time. 
and I'm happy for me to come and get some me and her time. Yeah. And no kids time. <laughs> oh, what am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's my enjoy, but here they two pops coming. <laughs> I'm bark. Yeah, no. And that's a whole of vibes. Dog man. And a whole of vibes. Dogs, no Dogs, no feeling. <laughs> but I'm here as a youth. Yeah, guys, it, it was a fun, fun time. I missed it. Yo, I'm not telling you. Indeed. Indeed. You see, some makeup back with her after me nearly run her for the. Uh, what do you call that thing there? Eh? Bob's dead? Yeah. So, she shouldn't have no more, she even forget. Yeah, that's, that's I made my little heart jump. almost run out of me. Yeah, I was making a little heart jump, man. No stress. I'm going to look at her now. My heart look at her after the kids. I'm going to be good at her. Yeah, guys, so it was a blast. <laughs> Yeah. Parents love your kids. Kids love your parents. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Let it be a balanced relationship. Love. Love. No heat. No yeah. heat. And no retirement plan and them kids. And kids don't depend on your parents though. Yeah. Yeah, so it go both ways, yeah? Because a lot of kids who are live for them parents are with my big man. Give mommy a break. Give daddy a break and go look it. And take your time. No rush. Success don't come overnight. All so right. yeah. Eat. Be patient. be patient in life. As a youth, as a youth to a youth, take your time. Everything now will come one time. There were days that I couldn't see all of what's going on now. Is it? To be fucked, there were seven years. That's why I always feel like God have been a seven year plan. Because we get seven years of accounting, seven years of football. Yeah. What will be next? What will be next? So I watch that seven years, you know. That's why I save, you know. Just pray for it to get better. Yeah, come like Joseph in the Bible. Seven years? Yeah, we didn't get to boat when brother them man, and then them got Egypt go prepare. <laughs> no, I'm just a prepare for the, my prepare. I don't remember how we story in the Bible. Somebody sent him by Instagram. Okay. We know that Joseph brother them sell him off, because my father used to treat him special. Mm. Then him got Egypt, and I've come back to him in the idea, because he prepare everything for them. But I got to do that. So that's why I see, don't watch his storm, then we storm, them a part of life. Mm -hmm. Almost every story in the Bible. But we know there's a story in the Bible. Yeah, Something it's seven years, every seven years. Sunday. Yeah. Come like Joe, we don't know. Yep. So yeah, for always prepare. But so when things good, life, prepare for the rough. That's what makes your life interesting. Yeah, actually. That, yeah, and that your life collect, meaning. Makes you collect memories. Yeah, the good, the bad. When you go yep. through the struggle, you appreciate the blessing more. Are you more stronger? Yeah, become? man. Are you more stronger? Tougher. Yeah, man. Every single thing happened to me in a life where that wasn't. We couldn't see the blessing in the struggles. We couldn't see it while me that go through. We could only feel the pain. But these days now, we reminisce and like everything will happen to me, I see it happen for a reason. Like, give me the character of me, I it play out now, me the kind of person I am now. All the struggles, so I appreciate the struggles. I know that there are better days ahead. So, guys, thanks for watching. We're just almost happy. We don't know how you get we time, you know. Get we time, yeah. Yeah. we just got to <laughs> slide you up in that thing like the slide. But, yeah, last time I'm coming, I'm going to go party to the car, I'm afraid of. It's a bobsled, because you spoil all the bobsled. I'm not spoiling the bobsled, but I'm afraid of the water, so guys, I'm afraid of heights. Anything we're too fast, so I can't control my door. Like, we love being controlled. And it's true, when I go to the thing there. No, no, oh, going so bad for we the just have one thing to do at this one. We need to do that. Oh, see, she should, she should yeah. We, we need, need to, to do. But you have, you, have, you have to pay for it separately. You I have think. to pay for it different. I will never pay for it with the cheapest package. Yeah. When you? I don't know. I remember. Uh, sliding down. Something read something. Oh, yeah, we slide it. on the on yeah. the string. Yes. Yeah, we never do it yet. Even 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 we call it. Uh, if you don't have it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so either either. Maybe we go down to the yeah, one time. No, I can't remember the time no fast. Come in one job. No, no, I have to go. You know, I got jobs still, but. No, I want to go back, like, fast, fast. Yeah, so either we're going to come back here, so we're going to go down to the Yeah. But, but. You know. You see me? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. guys, so take care. Hope yeah. the vlog was interesting. Hope you. Wall it. Wall it. Hope you. Yeah, <laughs> hope you learned something. Wall it. Wall the vlog in your face. Oh. Yeah, wall it. Yeah, we're going to wall it. Wall it. Yeah, man. So we're there. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the channel. So remember you can get your books on Amazon. This is our book, Life with the Stevens, Finding Financial Independence. Just search Life with the Stevens or Errol Stevens and you can find my author biography on Amazon as well. Please check the link in the description if you are interested in booking our Airbnbs in Portmore and in Ocho So thanks again for watching. Take care. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.